What's up guys, it's your boys Wokey back out with some more creepy, scary, terrifying videos and today up to bat for the Halloween theme of October is the scariest apparition footage ever caught on TV at the Haunted Sanitarium Extremely Scary Halloween Special. So with that being said, grab a chair, grab some popcorn, we're about to see what TV says their scariest apparition footage looks like and I want to take a look. So. Grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we get ready to watch more Mind CTV on Scare Wiz Wokey. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that red bar icon down the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you'll be the first one to know that I've posted a video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support you guys show on this channel every single day. Keep doing what you guys are doing. We'll continue to grow together. We're almost to 14,000 subscribers. I still can't believe it. It's all because you guys keep doing what you guys are doing. And without further ado, let's get into the Mind TV's newest video. Also, speaking of Mind TV, check out the link in the description for their channel. Give them some love. Do the thing. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Um, definitely, we want to give love to every channel that we watch. Um, respectfully, obviously. So go over there, give them some love. And then without further ado, let's get video. A lot of people see shadow figures here. I, I want to see one touch. someday. So I bad. Saw like literally, like walk past. Some of the most horrific, or horrific, evidence. No, uh, you did not just get that. Hello. Like I got to see it, and I was questioning my own sanity in that moment. That's creepy as hell. I want that box. No, I don't want to I'm already chilled. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this basement, man. Yeah. Oh, I want to see an apparition so bad. Just to witness it for once. Wood Wildwood Sanitarium. That looks really beautiful. It looks like it needs a paint. We've owned it for five years now in July. What made her want to buy and it? Within five years of your experience, a lot of activity on the property. Oh, yeah. Every room in the place. A lot of people see shadow figures here. A lot of people get touched. Have people captured, like, the shadow figures on camera? And yep. I actually like have them. caught, in, like, apparitions on video. Let's see it. Oh, they, they always have a doll. Do you feel like there's um, always. certain entities that reside on the property? Gosh. Familiar entities that stay here? We get a little boy, Tommy. Okay. Tommy. He, we actually got validation that he did live here and he passed away. Um, he was only in elementary school. So he does a lot here too. Hello. Looks like I'll... They usually hang up on the third floor more. Okay. And a lot of times they'll tell you to get out. Wow, look at that place. We're just everything we yeah, can. Okay, uh, all the tests. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. You're and, welcome. And, uh, we'll be here, I guess, till sunup. Awesome. Let's do it! They're everywhere. Wildwood Sanitarium. That's when you see it. That's when you see it on the top of the... the house already. Let's see. Let's see if they really got as much stuff going on here as they say they do. Well, they have a doll room, so obviously it's gonna be. I could just kind of swung open. A okay. Do our first walkthrough and just look for some EMF spikes. Yeah. Also, just for the viewers' sake. Is that uh, a kitty? We did come earlier to do an interview with the owner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come on over. We'll show them. Cause we got something kind of cool over here. This is. So this is where we interviewed the owner of the property earlier today. We actually didn't do a full walkthrough of the place. We just came down here in the living room. But uh, she told us that this is a custom spirit box that they had made for them here. And the wood that the box is made out of is actually wood from the property, like from the house. So huh. 
we're going to be using that at some point Interesting. Tonight, which is pretty tight pretty cool but we'll, cool. Uh, we'll do our sweep and see if we can find any emf spikes and there's pictures and stuff around of like things that creepiness everywhere captured uh i don't know so they caught a dog shadow figure dog there Another capture that a paranormal team has got. So apparently there's a lot of activity and, and the owner told us that, what, just like a week ago, like a group of like 15 caught a full body apparition. No way. Oh yeah, got hell no. We, didn't, we haven't been down here yet. Let's just leave it alone. Let's see what's going on with this. We're just diving right on in. It's always the creepy basements. Whoa, you hear that? What? I heard that. Oh, that was my stomach. <laughs> Whoa, you hear that? Oh my gosh, I... Whoa, you hear that? What? You could probably hear it on your audio. It's a trip. That was a bit great, pay. What's up with this table right here? Oh, that's a morgue table. What? It's kind of weird. A kind of weird? It's a morgue table. I mean, well, she did say that this was like, this place was used to um, treat sanitarium. Well, it's a sanitarium, but she said it was used as like a tuberculosis. Bro, that's a morgue table like, for bro, fluids to drain. Old IV drip. You should just pour medicine and saline water in there and let it drip into your body. Look at that. Ew. Hi. We were looking at this table. It was a very strange old IV drip table, and all of a it's sudden, like a morgue we just table. Hear this bouncing noise. Same rubber grommet. Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> you leave here with all sorts of shit. What the? Oh yeah, get out. We're done. Investigation. Have a great day. As I spin my flashlight, nope. I see that there's <laughs> like a plastic ball falling Goodbye. down a staircase in the room that's adjacent to us. What the? Yeah, nope. But then something even crazier happened. Crazier than that? Was it picked up? Bro. Nuh-uh. You did not just get that. It's coming right up to us. What do you Whoa, do? bro. The ball rolled completely on We're its okay. own out of the other room and right up to the bottom of our feet. Bro. First it falls -uh. down the you stairs. You did not just get that. Then it comes to them. It's coming right up to us. Whoa, bro. You can't fake that. Like someone dropped like a cue ball on concrete, almost what it sounded like. And I look and he's kind of stopped and shocked. And then it rolls right to our feet. It's a tiny little red ball. Whoa, duh. Bro. Nuh-uh. You did not just get that. It's coming right up to us. Whoa, bro. Ben, have a good night, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Hello? If there's someone down here with us, can you say something? I don't want to. I'm, like, chilled to the core right now. You, uh... You gotta be careful. Well, instantly. Like... What have we been in here for a whole five minutes? What the fuck? Amen. Footsteps upstairs. Oh, this door is closed up here. What? Like, there's like... It's like cracked open. Oh. Oh, no, Jesus. I was like, I, w I was like, wasn't it like they went through there and to the left and went down? Hey man, don't leave me down here. Hey, hey, come back. Oh no, it's just like, it's like a little storage room up here. Like a mud room? Okay. Hold on, oh wait, there's more stairs. 
Where does this go? Spinning, you spin me right round right. We know that there are some spirits of children. Oh gosh! Is Tommy here with us? In? Yeah, can we talk to Tommy? It's not saying that we did. I hate dolls. There's a little bed in here. I don't care. Was this Tommy's room? We like this game. They have that creepy little ma marionette puppet kind of little thing that was like from what was it, The Conjuring Two? No way. I'm up to take her up. If this SpongeBob's room. there though. No. Garfield's there. Garfield, what do you see? You still hate Mondays? Oh. It's like the doll from Nightmare of the Dummies from that Goosebumps movie. As we were entering one of the rooms on the second floor, uh, Colton was behind me, and he just panicked all of a sudden, and he said that he saw something move oh, behind me. Is Tommy in here with us right now? <gasps> what happened? Dude, you did not just see that? The, no. The that sewing wheel. Or whatever, there's fucking... Just moved. It what? just spun around. This wheel? You yeah. can only like do it I by pushing it down. A pedal. Get the this thing, as soon as you walk past, man, it, it almost did like, it was almost like a performance just for me. Like, I got to see it, and I was questioning my own sanity like in that moment. Movies. Like, I, is my eyes playing tricks on me? How much did it spin? I, oh, uh, enough for me to notice. Full rotation, at least? Kind of. You can't even push it. Not really. And then people want to sit there and be like, oh, my CTV is fake. Yeah. How? For fucking sure. Let me see. We actually stopped the investigation. I wanted to see exactly oh, what he had saw gosh. because he was so startled. And he played it back on his camera in that exact moment. And there was a wheel on like an old sewing machine that had spun completely on its own. Here, wait, let me get... Oh gosh! Ooh. Like a, a half turn. Go back again. No. No thanks. Have oh, oh my turns. gosh! What the fuck? Watch again in slow motion with the brightness enhanced. I'm here with this right now. No string, no nothing. So you tell me in the comments for you non-believers, how the hell did they do that? I just happened to be following you and it, it rotated. I guarantee, I knew my lens was pointing that way too. You, you couldn't even what? push I the pedal. You, uh, in post too, I could brighten that, whatever you just got. Uh -huh. and you, you'll be able to see that clear as day spin. That's fucking wild. Dude, I want to like double check it almost. Like, does it just randomly? No, like, you can't uh, push it. Zero? It doesn't the work. Fuck? I don't know. When it, oh, it must have not rotated for a while because the string fell off the guide. Huh. I don't That's know, a man. trip. That's, it's, the string's not even on there anymore. Well, thank you for whoever is letting us know that you're here. Yikes. We're going to pull out some devices pretty soon, and you can use those to communicate. Is that one of those witch's tools? Just trying to scare us. Look at this thing here. Yeah, the pendulum. I heard that it's, it's like a witcher's tight. tool. Good or evil. That's so messed it's up. Completely clean. Wow, it is. Let's check your three. What? The wall. Oh, gosh. Ouija board? It's not often you see places like this that are just cool with that type of stuff. This one just, why is there a framed card that says mom? Is that from Tommy? Oh, look. Well, why did they, they should have, they should not have written over that, but it looks like the pendulum spelled mom. And then they try to like show that it wrote mom. Hmm. That's nuts. That's crazy. Huh. 
That's interesting, though. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, shit. What? Fuck. What? The fucking mirror has like a picture frame. Oh. I was oh, like, why, 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 why? Yeah. Oh. There's like a reflection of that picture over there. Yeah, it oh, looks gosh. like a little girl, huh? <laughs> Looking at you in the mirror. That's fucking wild. I can't believe you saw that with your eyes, bro. Why two? Like, you have one on the wall. You have one here. Oh, my gosh. We've been places where, like, people aren't cool with even, <laughs> like, bringing one. Look oh, at all these crannies. I wonder why all the activity keeps to persist, you know? Or continues to persist. What? I thought I heard the steps again. I heard nothing. They have a raccoon on a stove? like a lot of weird trinkets and shit. What's this room? What the fuck? Get the hell out of here. Nah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I was now. ready to go when the ball as came downstairs, I man. Enter the room, a doll falls off of the top shelf. Yeah, no. Right in front of him. Yep, no. Mm -mm. If I have an investigation this happens to me, I don't know if I could continue. <laughs> If I'm by myself, no way. I won't be by myself. There's no way. I'm not going to be by myself. There's no way. I'll do it with friends or family. But yeah, no. They're literally slowing it down. So you can't see uh, a piece of string Explain or a cut or... It's been there for how long? Sitting there perfectly fine. And as soon as we turn the corner to this room, it falls off the shelf. That cannot be a coincidence. <laughs> What the fuck? Sam and nah, Kobe need to come to this place. To man. Yeah, what the fuck, fuck that? that, man. The dog just fucking fell, like, off that shelf. Excuse right their there. French. Yeah. They like to use French. I don't French. like dolls at all. Me, dude. And hey, man, we brother. found a room on the second floor that literally had hundreds of dolls in it. It came from up here, but, bro, look at this fucking room. Yeah, it's no. It's fuck. Oh, look at the one that has the veil. Oh, my gosh. There's, it's my nightmare. Static cameras, we need oh, to do some yeah. tests. Well, we have to finish the walkthrough though. Hell no. There's like two other rooms up here, at least we haven't gone through. What's up with this doll? This is like more dolls than. I wanna eat. Oh gosh, it's got red eyelet balls. Hello. Dude, this is fucking weird. If it fall, like if it like. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's got no eyes. Yeah, this. No. Mm -mm. She's got holes, bruh. It's like the black eyed yeah, like children. The one in the veil is creepy too. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. If Tommy's present with us and you're just trying to play, man, you're really creeping us out. Like We're gonna find some some stuff. Oh like, bro. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Look at this shit. Here. I'm just gonna take this over here. Look at this, bro. What the fuck is that? Yeah, that's a little, that's a little creepy. It's just weird. Just a bit. Dude. Is that a window? Is that Chimes? What the fuck is that? Shh, shh. Chimes. What is that? Sound like Chimes or something or like a toy, right? Yeah, like a ding dong little. Like a xylophone, like those kids' xylophones. Look. What? That's what it is right there. That's moving a little bit. That's what that was. Hello? Housekeeping? That's exactly what it was. Yeah, that was it. Hello? I get so anxious sometimes watching these and I'm getting like super anxious like just watching how much stuff is happening and all these dolls. I can't handle the dolls anymore. I'm just waiting to see something in like the window. Yeah. 
that. Triage room? Whatever. Did you, you hear that? My eyes are fucking with me, man. When I came in here, I could have swore I saw like a shadow in front of me. Weird. Man, I'm feeling very like like I want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Up here. Agreed. Yeah. I don't even really even want to know. Well, man, we've got so oh, much stuff going on right now. Like, are me. we doing? We should do static. Uh, yeah. Let's do static cameras. But yeah. like, are we doing? So are we doing like? Does the house box in the doll room? Are we doing it in the basement? Like, where are we going? Let's just go get the box and figure out a room to put it in. In the shadow. So something really cool about this location is that the owner had a custom spirit box created and the box itself was made out of wood that they took from the actual home. So it's almost like the spirit box was a part of this house and we were told they get a lot of activity coming through on it, lots of different voices come through. So we wanted to test that out and we decided to start the tests in the basement. Are you trapped here? Or have you chosen not to leave? We are. We are. Say Colton. Please don't fuck with me. That's my son's name and I don't... Do you know my name? Do you know both of us? Casey. I did hear that. Did that soft voice in the back that I keep trying to get attention to? I did hear that. Were you a patient here? Yes. Yes. I heard that one. Yes. We heard a lot of strange voices and, and phrases come through it. Dead guys? Or I am dead guys? Use this device to talk to us. Find your voice. Or if you can, make something move down here again. Go away. Go away. I'm hurt. I Why heard don't that. You want us here? Hey, hey. It was almost uh, hypnotic in a way because there was like this loud beep that would come through every now and then, and then you'd hear nothing. We're trying to speak with Tommy. Can you hear Tommy? Whoa. Sound like you didn't like I, that. I was like, I want you out. We're trying to speak with Tommy. Can you let Tommy come through? Yes. I just saw something like literally like walk past. No bullshit. I noticed it like is pitch black in all corners. And I am seeing different shades of darkness move in front of the doorways. No bullshit. As we were listening to the spirit box, Colton just got really freaked out and he said, I am seeing things moving down this hallway. I'm seeing shadows moving past the doorway. It's all real. Dude. Yeah. Fuck with me. Did you hear that? What? Did you see that shadow? Wait a minute. Hold on. I saw it and none of them were moving like they were. I just got... Absolute chills. Watch. Look at that. Look at that. None of them are moving. One over here caught my eyes. I immediately jerked my neck and looked that direction. Holy and then shiznits. to my left, I see something that was like almost in my peripheral vision moving. <gasps> there was definitely something that was toying with us and it made itself present. And so it was like getting ready right to touch him. Me. It happened so fast, but when I slowed it down and looked at it frame by frame, none of them were moving like that. It looked like something was reaching out and trying to touch me. Oh my gosh. The most obvious movement we have seen as far as shadow figures. That was happened, nuts. Basically, right underneath our noses. And because it's so dark, through our own vision, our cameras actually are better at seeing in the dark than our own eyes are. Bro, it's like one of those creepy Slenderman hands.
He just Dude, like. These doorways are going fucking shit right now. I feel like I keep seeing something walk past. Yes. Whoa. Bro, I just saw a pair of fucking. I don't like this no more. <laughs> off. Hey. Balls moving. Fucking balls back, bro. And just stops. Tommy, is that you, man? What the? F what the fuck is this that? This is like a horror film. Is that what ours? Is that? No, that's not our shit. Conjuring Five. It's like a winding toy. Hello? I think. Nah, man. That's like a do it yourself <laughs> kind of thing right now. Hello? It's like one of those music boxes. Like you have to wind it to get it going. This is right where I saw it too. Bro, I'm so chilled, it's not even funny. Yeah. I'm not going in this room. That right there. Look. What is that song? Sorry. I thought I saw some. Raindrops oh, falling on my head. Is no. What song is that, guys? I'm good being down here. No, I don't want to be down here anymore. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this space right now. Yeah. Yes. Slash now. We decided to use the yes no prism <sighs> in the room where we had witnessed the wheel My heart's pounding. Home. We figured we're going to go to all the hot spots that we've seen activity so far and try different things. I like this thing. Somebody says that they don't so like it, that us a lot it of could really be fake. good activity so far tonight. And this little prism here, it's kind of like a toy. It won't hurt you, it's not here to harm you. If you get close to it, it'll light up. And on this side, the side closer to me, it'll light up green. The side closer to Colton, it'll light up red. And if you can get close to this device and answer our questions, we would really appreciate that. So my side is yes, Colton's side is no. We've seen you use your energy, at least one of you use your energy to move objects. So we know that you're capable of interacting with this device. Now my question is- No. Is that I don't want to interact with this device. No. Okay, so you obviously are capable of interacting with this device. Still no. Are you one entity? Are you multiple people? Is there multiple people present with us? No. We know that you've shown yourself to other groups of people while they were here doing investigations. Would you be willing to show yourself to us tonight? Are you angry that we're here? Would you rather be left alone? Yes. That was the last question. It was like a chair beam. Moved a it doesn't bit. seem like you want to be left alone. With all the moving objects and the stuff you've been tossing and making weird noises around us, it doesn't seem like you want to be left alone. Are you trying to scare us? <laughs> oh, Should we scare guys. you? This video is scaring me. Of us? We've seen a bunch of the pictures of people taking full pictures of full body operations. We know that you're here present. 
If we use the Ouija board, no, don't will you communicate with us. No, we feel like there's a lot of energy surrounding that. Don't you dare use it. What are your shadow figures? I keep walking past the doorways. Do you have the capability to come answer this? Don't you do answer it. These questions through this prism. All you have to do is be present on either side of it. <clears throat> Casey's side is yes, my side is no. You can light up either side. There were only two responses received while using it. Is okay, so I didn't continue anymore. During the yes no prism, we did get a couple responses. They seem like definitive answers. Um, ultimately, that did die down, and we decided to move on to our next set of tests. We talked about doing a regular spirit box in the room with the dolls in it. Oh, gosh. And Colton came up with the genius idea of one of us should do a blind spirit box in the room with all the dolls. This is a bad idea. Playhouse. Oh, gosh. During the blind spirit box session, we were in separate rooms, completely separate levels. I believe I was a whole two or three floors down below Casey in the basement, and I'm asking the questions to the room he's in. How many in floors the are phone. there in this place? Message. Received. Earlier, when we were downstairs. Earlier when we were downstairs. Someone rolled a ball. Can you give us the name of the person that did that? Sincerely. Six. 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 It makes sense. Are you demonic? Are you trying to harm us? Well, I just dive right in. Maybe. Are you Maybe. demonic? Are you trying to harm us? Some of the phrases were a little bit too coincidental. They did match up, so I do think there was some form of communication happening between <sighs> Colton and the spirit box. If this is Tommy, let us know somehow. Leave. As I keep asking these questions, I'm getting various responses, and then it's almost like as I continue asking questions, it goes from a pretty vague but direct response to a specifically direct response to my questions. If and it, it was tells like me to leave, I'm leaving. Three or four in a row there. Did one of you dancing shadows turn on the music downstairs? Oh, gosh. And now I hear a man laughing. Yep, game over. He's here. Who's here? Are you the one that was saying no on the yes-no prism earlier? Not him. Is there someone here that's stopping you from communicating to us? Are you threatened by our presence? I like it. He likes the sinisterness. It sucked the fucking fresh battery out of this. Let me see. I've had to buy extra batteries for my camera, so when I use it and it dies, I'm gonna have backups. <laughs> yeah, I'm using look, my watch. 4K camera These for my right ghost hunts. Yeah. I pulled them off a second ago. These are only at 40, 50 percent right now. Could and be draining from that. Battery. This was the fresh one. Yeah. Here, wait. Let me get tight on it. Don't move. I can't see. It's oh, yeah, dying. It's just at 100, yeah. Literally 0%. Yeah, I, can't, I can't focus on it. Why am I having a hard time? It's coming, buddy. Literally 0%, bro. <laughs> Sorry. That's nuts. Dude. It's dead. That, it that creeps it me right there. That yeah, creeps me out right there. It's fucking real when it comes to this stuff. That water, limestone. 
I loved all that. There was already a Ouija board in this house. And it was really cool. The planchette lit up and everything, so you could see the letters clearly on the board. What is that, RGB? And we had the spirit box running the whole time we were doing the session. Gosh, one. I say this every time, and I mean it very, very highly. Do not use a Ouija board. You don't know what you're going to open, what's going to come through. You have no idea what you can, you can't control anything to this aspect besides opening a door and letting whatever walks through it so do not touch it leave it alone let hasbro keep it in the box because it says eight plus on there so you can summon a demon at eight years old but you can't drink alcohol until you're 21 don't touch it two three hold on i heard that you're here with us right now what do you say can you move this planchette I heard what demons. There was a kid's voice. Well, I was rude. Is that Tommy? Okay, that was Colton. Watch your fingers. So hard to hear it. What? Have you ever used one of these before? Not moving. Give us some energy. Look, just like this. Just move it all around this board right here. You can just keep moving if you want. That was for sure the same kid voice. Jesus, criminy. I swear I saw that needle move a little bit. Can you spell your name? Who is there? I heard. We're friends. Casey and Colton. That's Casey. I'm Colton. We're friends. We're not here to harm you. I thought I said it. Oh boy. Casey. We're resuming it on. No, not me. Go ahead, you're doing a good job. It's moving. I don't see it moving. It's really moving. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. so little pressure right you now. You can slip a piece of paper through my fingers. And the planchette right now. It's moving slow. I don't see it moving. said, what is your name? That's Casey, I'm Colton. What's your name? It stopped on an S, I think. Punch up barely moved, but stopped on the letter S. Satan? No more movements, okay. Planchette. Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. The Watcher. We have placed four static cameras throughout the house uh, in, in just random various locations. Most of them we didn't see anything interesting on, but one of them, the one that we had aimed at the stairwell where the ball had initially fallen down, it captured some, some pretty interesting things. Oh, there's something going in and out over that. Oh, oh. The hell was that? Yeah, it was like a flash of something that moved in front of the camera. It's like, oh, oh there it goes. Hmm. However, upon second look, something much more unsettling was captured. What? You gonna brighten it up? Oh my gosh! Is that... Is that just like pareidolia? Oh my gosh. Is it, please tell me that's pareidolia. <gasps> I think it's, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. 
How do you guys have eyes for that? Oh my gosh! You can see the this piece, the forehead here. This location oh my is gosh. haunted, um, no doubt in my mind. Oh my gosh. <sighs> the things that were going on there. Uh, I mean, we've got oh, hundreds and hundreds of other paranormal investigation teams that have gone there. Sam and Kobe, evidence. You need to People go here. have seen full body apparitions there. The owners have seen full body apparitions. I'm chilled. I'm unsettled. Unsettled. We might have chilled. captured one on one of our static cameras, so there's definitely some activity happening at the Wildwood Sanitarium. You can see the tip of the nose. I don't know. Please, I don't know. What, comment you guys' thoughts down below if you guys think that's pareidolia. <coughs> Fantastic one from Mind CTV. I definitely enjoyed this one. Comment your guys' thoughts down below. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, all the above, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep learning on, and we'll see you guys next time. Don't play with the Ouija board. Peace.